<laughs> Are you all right? Hello, my name is Tom and I play William in English Rose. Oh, my favourite film of all time is uh, the 1975 One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, it's directed by Milos Forman and uh, stars Jack Nicholson. It's probably the closest thing to a perfect film I've ever seen in my life. Um, the themes, the script and the incredible cast, especially as a lot of them were new to cinema. People like Christopher Lloyd, Danny DeVito. Incredible. That's a big question, so we'll have to just go with what pops in my head. So the one that's popped in my head recently is one that just completely blew me out of the water because it was such a sideball, insanely weird film anyway. And it's from the 1950s film Harvey. Well, 1950, it's by Henry Costner, and of course it's Jimmy Stewart, and it's probably the craziest film, so it's like, so it's a film based on a play which is a farce, and at the centre of the farce is Harvey, but Harvey's not, Jimmy Stewart doesn't play Harvey, but Harvey is his imaginary friend who's a giant six foot bunny rabbit, and people all think it's not real, but it, as the thing goes on, it turns out he is real. Oh, I was doing, um, theatre production with the Top Box Studios who are linked obviously with 515 Productions and George who directed the film he just said I'm making about making a film if you're interested please send me a video audition and I said all right then I'll do it not thinking anything of it and that's what I did and then a week later he told me I got the part and the rest is history. Well from only a theatre background going into a where the audience is this big, now the audience is that big. It's a totally different way of acting and working. And learning the lines and the mechanics of it all with so little rehearsal time. Because when you do the theatre stuff, it's just repetitive, 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 re rinse, repeat, and you build a stamina for it, and it just becomes second nature. Whereas I didn't have that time, and it's no one's fault, it's just because we were so short. It's the schedule we had was so small, we had to just pounce. But it's a mad experience. I'll do it again, though. I think I should technically work with him, but I will tell you this. So, when we did Sherlock Holmes, it was it was a bit weird, so I was an extra. So the way it was filmed, you looked at it and you thought, oh wow, where did they get that set? It's incredible. Really, it's just the back of Manchester High Street. And it was hilarious because there was a crane on set, literally out of shot, there was a big blue lift crane thing. So it was the scene where he jumps out the window and the big Frenchman's chase. If he jumps out the window and it looked ridiculous because it looked too nice, it was like Spider-Man. <laughs> And it was like, um, Guy Richard just appears out of nowhere, not happy, and just goes, well, what's going on here? You've just had the granny smacked out of you. You would not land like that. I want you falling right on your face. And I was like, oh, hilarious. It was, it was an amazing day. And I am in the film, I can't be seen. It was a good day. I'm just trying to talk to Aiden with that gas mask on. He's like one of the one of the adults from Charlie Brown, you know. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> Pretty funny. There was the makeup lady Izzy. Um, when she put her hood up, it, her hair was funny, so it'd stick out the side. So when it, the wind blew, she lifted her head up. She looked like a blooming I mean, the lion from Wizard of Oz. Um, all of us crowding under one umbrella for three, four hours because it was hammering it down in brain. <laughs> Not knowing where to sit, and then Lucy, the AD, reminding me because my backside was perfectly formed in the sand on brain. Just loads of mad stuff happened. Uh, so I've always been interested in it, but I was never like massively determined to do anything. And um, one day I was just kind of pushed into it, like because a friend of mine was doing something. I thought, why not? I'll give it a go. But I think the one thing that really set me off was. Oh, come on. I think it was 1960, I think, the, the Mel Brooks film, The Producers. I watched the, the original film. It's not a musical, it's just a, an incredibly brilliant comedy. And seeing Gene Wilder in that, I just looked at that and thought, I need to be that person one day. I'm still waiting. I think um, the obvious thing for me is the premiere, when we had the, the screening where we buy, where people actually bought a ticket and came to watch the film. and. The, and the response was mad. I mean, they went, they cheered at the end, and um, just the gen and also the general response from like people you know, 
like a lot of people have watched it people are just saying to me oh my god that's really good obviously it's people I know but it's still mad because it's just, it's just like what it's just like it's just me so that's the, that's the memory I'll always take the fact that the premiere seeing it it felt like I actually did something cool and then also people's responses because although I shake it off and go yeah whatever it's actually really nice Well, the heart, well it's, it's a simple story of a lot of heart. I mean, it's, it's about a guy called William who's obviously come out of the Second World War and he's just trying to get home to his family and he's unfortunately, for whatever reasons, having to take a difficult journey and make his own way back without, any help, without a lot of help. Um, so there's tension, you know, it's it's emotional. There's, you know, there's, you know, there's like dramatic moments, there's high tense moments and Honestly, you watch it and it's a 20 minute film, but it feels like you've only watched five minutes. I think it's just something that's worth watching. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to watch the film English Rose, please click the link in the description below. Thanks for coming and getting to know me a bit better. And uh, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Yeah, taxi!